This is the Emoji Crumby Mini Vacuum, a 12,000 RPM mini vac. That's today's review, so let's get right to it. All right, the Crumbie has been around for a while, but they just released their Emoji line, so I figured it'd be cool to visit this product and give it a fair test here at Frequent Reviews and see how it works. There's not much to it. All it is is a 12,000 RPM mini-vac. You've got some brushes here that are kind of hard bristles. You've got the area where the contents go. It takes two AA batteries. It holds, they say, 2.5 tablespoons of contents, and it should be able to run about two hours per pair of batteries. So that's the preliminaries. Let's get started. All right, let's crack this open. You're supposed to be able to rotate this to insert the batteries. Let's try that. All right, wow, that's, you kind of see everything right there, don't you? All right, the batteries go right here. Let's put a couple in there. Seems to be in there, okay. Let's try this out. Hey, it worked. Now, one thing I would say also is that you're not supposed to have items more than a quarter of an inch, or they say it can clog this up or get in the motor, so you gotta be careful with the size of the things that you vacuum up. And again, it doesn't sit flush on the table. As you can see, these are maybe a quarter of an inch large brushes. So let's get started with something like potato chip crumbs. Ha-ha. Okay. There we go, big mess. Oh no, there's a mess on the table. Let's clean this up. Good thing we got, my hands are greasy now, hold on. Okay, well, good thing we have our trusty crumby back. It's, it glides nicely along the table. Okay, that was not bad at all. Actually, you could probably play a little game with this too. You press this lever to open it up to see what's in there. And that's what we got there. I should be able to just bang this out on the trash can to get it out of there. Next up, how about a little bit of sugar? Hiya! What I like about this is it has that cute design on it, so I think you might be able to get kids to actually vacuum up some of their messes with this because of the character design on it, more than just a regular handheld vac. Plus it's safe, they can't really, well, I guess they can stick their finger in there, but there's nothing really to hurt yourself with. I mean, that doesn't, that doesn't hurt, so. So far, so good, let's keep trying. How about some coffee? Maybe a little protein powder also. <laughs> There's kind of a, more of a pile than it spread out on this one. Let me see if that does any differently. This, this protein powder has the consistency of flour. As you can see, it's, a little bit longer to pick up. Not bad though. I think these brushes are what helps pick up some of the really fine like dust-like particles. All right, so the table test I think I've all done pretty well. Now let's try some different surfaces and see how it does there, but let me empty this out first. So as far as cleaning goes, you can rinse these two parts under warm water. This part, not, not so much. That is a filter. You can just clean that out. So that's good, they made it pretty easy to maintain. So this part needs to be rinsed underwater first. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And this is a filter that also does accumulate some debris also, that also rinses out. You're just supposed to let these dry before you reassemble and then good to go for the next test. This part, I'm just gonna take a paper towel and wipe that out of there. All right, so the table test, I think it performed pretty well. There's L, my chihuahua, by the way. So let's try something like cracker crumbs on this chair, because it's completely different material. Ready, here we go.
All right, well, they say the pieces above a quarter of an inch you're supposed to pick up yourself, so I will do that. Okay, I think that's most of them. I think the rest of them are about a quarter of an inch. I'll even get the bigger pieces here. You can hear actually the brush kind of she's getting some of the dog hair off there too. Well, what do you think, huh? Not only did it clean it off, but it also brushed some of the hair off of the chair. So I think that did a pretty good job. And that's what we got. Oops, see that one on the floor. That's what we got there. So I thought I'd have some fun with the crumbie and I took it on a local field test to a Taco Bell and here's what happened. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get one taco and one order of cinnamon twist, please. All right, so first of all, I'm not trying to give you my best Rob Halford impersonation. I'm also not trying to look like the guy from Mythbusters, although I'll take those comparisons as a compliment. But I'm here at Taco Bell and I'm gonna try to create the kind of crumbs that kids would create in the car when they're out with their family, eating in the back seat. So I figured that some tacos and some cinnamon twists would be the best way to get crumbs in my car and we'll see how the crumby vac emoji cleans that up. And I'm gonna eat them kind of in a sloppy manner and hopefully I can create enough mess that I need to clean it up and we can see how it works. 248. There you go. There Thank you. you. Thank you, have a good night. You too. Good night. First up. A couple cinnamon twists. Now remember, I'm going to try to eat these as sloppily as I can. All right. Oh, mm. no, we're getting a lot. Yeah. Mm. Getting a lot of crumbs already. Good. This is how a kid would eat in the back seat. In fact, the person holding the camera right now used to eat like that a lot when he was a kid. This is a sacrifice for this review because I do not want to eat a taco right now. Well, who needs a wrapper when you're trying to be sloppy, right? Forget the wrapper. All right. Uh, mm. Mm -mm. Oops, oh, it spilled. Oh, no. Well, Dad will clean that up later, right? It's probably too much now. <laughs> oh, man. I got meat on my lap. I should got something to drink with that. I'm kind of thirsty. Oh, well. All right, put my cinnamon twist. Okay. I know. I'm gonna get up and wipe this onto my seat, but I'll pick up the larger pieces that are larger than a quarter of an inch because you're not supposed to vacuum anything larger than a quarter of an inch. So here we go. Ugh. That's good. Oh, perfect. Look at this. this is great. I'll pick up the large pieces. Large pieces. Oh, I got meat on my seat. Oh, what a mess you made, Junior. Good thing I have my crumby vac. Now, it doesn't get down there, obviously that well. I mean, I can kind of stick it in there. But I think that did a pretty good job for something that could fit in the glove box. Maybe I should vacuum my, my pants. Oops, people are looking at me now. That was pretty ridiculous. I'm not sure I really had to go through all that, but I think it did a pretty good job. So if you want to leave this in your car, it's definitely going to be good for small spills like that. So the Taco Bell test, crumby vacuum, I think passed that as well. I should probably point out, this is kind of my beater car that I drive my dogs around in, so there's a ton of dog hair back here. I know the Crumbie vacuum isn't really designed for that, but let's see how well it actually does. I mean, not 100%, but it is getting some of it off. So in the end, the Crumbie is pretty good for picking up small spills and crumbs around the house. It's not going to replace a larger vacuum, but it's also not designed to do that. But for what it is, I think it did a pretty good job. Have you used the Crumbie? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, Freakin' Reviews.